Can we all agree that none of us really knows what we're doing? Hi, it's Thursday. You're watching Thirsty Thursday, the show where it's Thursday and we get f We drink very responsibly. <laughs> so a couple weeks ago on Tasty Tuesday, we made a raindrop cake out of agar powder. Agar is a powder made out of kelp, seaweed, and it acts a lot like gelatin. However, we only used like a quarter of a teaspoon of agar powder and I have this giant bottle of it. So I was looking up online other ways to use agar powder and guess what came up? If you guessed jello shots, you're motherfucking correct. Slap it high. So I found a recipe for agar cosmopolitan jello shots and I thought, uh, yes, we are making these. There was no other option. So here we are. We're gonna attempt to make these. I say attempt because I've heard of other people try to make jello shots with agar powder and fail. And I do not like failure. I'm hoping that we succeed in this, but if we don't, I'll let you know why and what happened. Cosmopolitan agar powder jello shots inside of limes. Holy shit. I'm into it. I'm digging it. I'm a hundred percent down. Let's make this drink. I just feel like the lighting is weird in the daytime. And there's a shadow over here. I'm not into it. Can we all agree that none of us really knows what we're doing in this kitchen? Thank you. Step one, you're gonna need 1,000 limes. 1,000 of them. No, but seriously, like 10 to 12 limes. Get them out, get them out there. Get them out into the wild of your kitchen. 1,000. Secondly, you're gonna wanna choose an outfit that makes you feel like you're on a permanent vacation. It really helps with the whole daytime drinking thing. Having a daytime drink during the work week, not acceptable. Having a daytime alcoholic beverage on vacation, Hello, you're doing it right. Chic outfit, chic wife life, we're on vacation. Let's go. We're gonna take all these limes, we're gonna cut them in half. Cause these limes want to party. Try to get them in half as evenly as possible. You want them to have a flat surface when you set them on the lime side. So it only took just about all of our limes before I realized I was cutting them the complete wrong ass way. This is not how you're supposed to cut them in half. This is how you're supposed to cut them in half lengthwise. It's fine. We're on vacation. Yeah, so I got a good three limes cut the correct way and the rest we're just gonna have to see what happens. So what you're gonna wanna do now is squeeze as much juice out of each lime as possible before we peel out the inside side, that fleshy part. This is gonna be a really fun, monotonous time getting all the rest of this juice out, but what you're gonna do after you squeeze out the juice is peel out all of this stuff, this we don't want, we don't want, we don't want this. We need it out. It's easy, it's gonna be really easy. It was really easy in the recipe pictures, so it's totally gonna be easy for us here. Wow, this is so easy. I love how easy this is. We're gonna get all of that out of each single lime, of each all of these half of the limes. It's gonna be so fun. Beat you at the end of this. Hi, we're back. You know what? For the sake of time, I'm gonna stop at seven of these halves. I'm just gonna juice the rest of these limes later and make margaritas with them. You know, I think the only time I would ever make a recipe like this is if I wanted to walk into a party looking like a living, breathing Pinterest board. There is no other reason to be doing this much work for alcohol. Does it look cute? Fucking hopefully. If not, you should just do them in Dixie cups. Maybe paint, paint it cute. Probably take less time than this. It took me a good 20 minutes to do seven of these halves, so. Oh shit, you didn't see that. So we're gonna move on. We're gonna take whatever halves of limes we do have and we're gonna put them into, put them into, I can't talk today. Put them into cupcake tins, into a cupcake tin so that they don't fall over. Good idea. Okay, put these. Um, um, here, put those there where I was gonna put them the whole time. Next, we're gonna take a small pot. I got my new stainless steel pots. Thank you, wedding guests. Thank you, wedding guests. And we're gonna whisk together the following ingredients. A quarter cup of lime juice. This is half a cup, so I'm gonna pour some out, but. Quarter cup of lime juice that we just freshly squeezed. One cup of cranberry juice. Make sure your cranberry juice is at room temperature. Very importante. Agar powder starts to set when it gets cold, so you don't want any cold ingredients going on here. One cup. And a quarter cup of agave nectar. Can you see that? Agave, agar. This better be ag good. You know what I'm saying? I'm serious. That should take forever. This is also the ingredients if you just wanted to make a Cosmo. Good old fashioned Cosmo by itself. Okay, whisk, whisk, 
whisk. Where's our whisk? We don't know because our husband put the dishes away and he puts them in drawers that I don't know where they go. Where did our whisk go? It's in the dishwasher. I guess we gotta wash this. Hey, husbands out there, rubber whisks? I don't think they go in the dishwasher. I just don't think they do. Maybe don't do that. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna whisk these ingredients in our pot. Whisking's fun because it makes me feel like I'm doing something. I'm creating. Maybe these can go in the dishwasher, but I wouldn't whisk it. <laughs> You get out. On top of our whisked mixture, we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of agar powder and just let it soak in there for a second. Now that our agar powder has been sprinkled on top and sitting in there for about five minutes, we're gonna bring our mixture to a boil. Do we stir it? I don't know, it doesn't say. I feel like we should stir it, right? We should stir it, probably, right? Come okay, on, let that do its thing. Once it comes to a boil, we're gonna turn it down to a simmer and let it simmer for three minutes. So our pot has now been simmering for at least three minutes it said to do it until the agar is dissolved I can't really tell if it's dissolved I think it is if I don't see it I never really saw it to begin with so we win we win so I'm gonna take this and turn the heat off remove it from the heat Maybe we'll pour it in a different bowl. We need this to be kind of cooled off a little bit so it doesn't kill our alcohol completely. We don't want all this work to go to waste for nothing. Oh, gosh. Okay, that was a glass bowl and it did not break. I feel like we're having some good luck today. Okay, I found a bowl here. I prefer a glass bowl because metal tends to heat up, but whatever. We're just gonna pour our liquid into our bowl so it kind of cools down a little bit. While we're waiting for that, I thought I'd peel a few more of these lime halves just to fill up our cupcake tray. I found the incorrect way of being cut to be a lot easier to peel the inside, although it still is not my favorite activity. Conclusion. Now that our mixture's been chilling for a little bit, we're gonna add three quarters cup of vodka and one quarter cup of Cointreau or triple sec if you don't have Cointreau. Cointreau will make it smoother though. If you wanna live your chicest, bestest life, I don't know. Up to you, not sponsored. We're just gonna stir all of that boozy goodness in there. Get it nice and mixed. It's a party. Mix it up. Then I'm gonna pour this mixture back into our measuring cup because it'll be easier with the spout on it. You can just pour it into anything that has a spout. You're gonna want that. Make your life easier. And then we're gonna pour our mixture into each one of these little baby lime halves. You're gonna wanna go as far as you can to the top without it overflowing. This'll be easy. We're really, really good at this. Once those are all poured, we're gonna put it into our refrigerator to chill for at least two hours. This is my favorite part. Moving liquid jello to a fridge, totally a Nicky Lima Forte. We got this. Dude, we're doing a good job so far. Oh my God, holy shit, we're doing a good job. We're doing a good job. Everybody's doing a good job. <gasps> oh no, there's not enough room. No, come on. Put a momento, por favor. I want that there. Oh my goodness, we did it. Win, play, fight, win. Okay, so those need to chill for at least two hours, overnight if possible, but at least two hours. I will see you then. We, we are gonna get chic drunk real fast. Hey, what's up? Editing Nikki here, and uh, recording Nikki for the second video in a row this week. Didn't turn the audio on. Didn't Did not turn the microphone on um, for the duration of recording the video. Fortunately for this video, it was just the end clip. It was like this. Okay, so these have gotten to chill overnight and hopefully they're hard enough to take. Um, I wasn't sure if it was gonna be that hard because when I was cutting it, some of it like spilled out. This is the best I can do. And I think it looks pretty good, but I don't know. Maybe next time I would use some more agar powder. Ooh, Steve almost broke that. Anyway, these are cosmopolitan jello shots made out of agar agar powder. Agar powder? What's agar powder? I made a raindrop cake with it. I feel like you're always making raindrop cakes. <laughs> Fuck you. Cheers. Wow. These are surprisingly way better than I thought they were gonna be. I actually like the consistency better than regular jello shots. Ready to taste this again? Absolutely. <laughs> it's the second video this week that I lost that I didn't lose the audio. I didn't, I just straight up didn't turn the microphone on. I didn't turn it on. Well, that's why I don't trust video. machines. I don't trust machines. I don't trust machines either. It's the machine's fault. It's not the person's fault. Right. Siri always begs me to be on. Like begs me Same. constantly. And Same. I'm like, get away. And she always wants Go to know away. my location. I'm always like, oh really? And Alexa's always popping up and being like, did you call my name? And we're like, no, Alexa. It's Dude, not Alexa about does you. it all the freaking time. We have time. to mute her all the time. Anyway. Dude, and sometimes Alexa just starts talking during our conversations. Yeah. <laughs> It's not a hoax. Alexa, shut up! For once. At least she listens to that command, unlike yeah, some well, other people in this I house. mean, I wish my wife would listen to that one. We made the same joke. We made the same joke. Conclusions are, we like the, the texture and consistency of this better than the regular jello shots, That's like correct. the gelatin jello shots. That is which is crazy, because jello shots were my go-to birthday drink. 
Um, it's actually crazy to hear her yeah, say that because she loves I was so much. shocked. I was so shocked. Cheers. Cheers, hey. These are good as fuck. Mm -hmm. These are really good. Mm -hmm. I would actually make these again. I might not put them in limes because that's Holy a bitch to cut. Absolute fuck. Steve did some bits about it being his birthday month this month. It was fun. Um, it was, fun. It was really fun. fun. We had a lot of fun. We had a really we don't fun. We like to do bits again. Yeah, we, we're not going to do bits again. No, we don't do that. But like, yeah, the, I just want you to know that the end of the video that I didn't so record good. audio for it was so it, funny. It was so fun. Oh my god, so it was funny. so freaking funny. And also <clears throat> make these, and also our bits were really funny. I've never done a funnier bit. I think that was the funniest bit I've ever done. It was the greatest bit we've ever done ever it was been you know what i won't even say we i think it was the greatest bit ever done i ever would before. have to agree with you steve and by the way i've seen thousands and thousands of bits thousands like i straight up like for years just studied bits this one was the best bit that's ever been done maybe what we'll do is at the end of the video we'll just have the bit just so you can at least get you know i mean because even that bit without sound like it's still probably better than any other bit perfectly heightened perfectly executed Perfectly done bit. All right, well, subscribe so you don't miss any of this, and I'll see you next time. Bye.